What's up everybody, it's Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop. And today we're gonna mix it up a little bit and talk about some ultralight kayaks. We do a lot of stuff about fishing, but to be honest with you, Headwaters does a huge chunk of our business in the Thermoform kayaks and ultralight kayaks. So today we're gonna to be bringing you two kayaks under $1,000 under 40 pounds and we're just going to be talking a little bit about the features and the benefits and why somebody might choose a thermoform kayak as opposed to a composite kayak or a rotomolded molded polyethylene kayak so first of all we should start with what is thermoformed abs so most kayaks like this feel free over here are made out of rotomolded molded polyethylene so basically what they do is they put a bunch of pellets into a mold and they roll it around and heat it up and then at the end of that you have a kayak that has a uniform thickness throughout um, a little bit heavy but definitely super super stout super durable but the downside to that is they are heavier than they need to be and the plastic itself is actually fairly soft so if you were to scratch it you would, you could leave a mark in it now thermoform on the other hand is made differently it actually comes in a sheet and they heat the sheet up in an oven, it melts at a much higher temperature so you don't get warping or dents like you can get in polyethylene. And then the mold presses up through the thermoform and creates this really nice, crisp, light, um, very, very dense plastic kayak. It comes in two pieces, so you'll have a deck mold and a hole mold, and they'll mold both pieces and then glue them together. And where they glue them together, that's called your seam. So right here, these two pieces come together and they're actually welded together with a material called methylmethacrylate which is basically like a two-part epoxy that welds this plastic together and we never never see them break on a seam that is just the most durable part of the kayak because you're basically doubling up the material and then welding it together the advantages to thermoform is you get a much stiffer lighter hull so it cuts through the water better they can get sharper crisper lines and this boat right here is only 32 pounds this is 32 pounds even with a sealed bulkhead in the back, a sealed bulkhead in the front, and watertight hatches. So really incredible how light that they can make these boats. This is the Hurricane Santee 116. I picked these two boats because they both fall in under $1,000, which really is a great place to get into the sport. If you're looking at a six, $700 recreational kayak, maybe a $1,000 kayak could fit your budget. And man, I'm gonna tell you right now, the money you spend is gonna be money well spent because it's gonna be so much easier to use both on and off the water. It's a lot lighter weight, so it's just moving less mass through the water. And then lastly, the material itself is very slippery. So when you put it in the water, it just wants to go. Hurricane's got a nice adjustable seat in here. They actually even added some cup holders, but you can adjust underneath your thigh supports. You can adjust your lower back support up and down to wherever it needs to be. And you also have some comfort thigh pads. Another thing that really helps with your comfort is having foot pedals. So they don't steer the boat, all they really do is they're there to support your feet so your knees can have a nice bend in them, your butt can be parked. And similar fit over here on the eddy line. High back adjustable seat, nice seat pan with under thigh support, and then adjustable foot pedals here. On the Sky 10 you get a 10 foot, 26 inch wide, 32 pound kayak. This is probably the most popular recreational kayak in the shop because it fits in small cars like a Honda Pilot or a Subaru Outback or a uh, Toyota Highlander, etc. A lot of people in our paddling club just slide them right in their cars and away they go. And even uh, one of our ladies, her name's Pat. I don't think she'd mind using, me using her as an example. She's 82 years old and she said, the only way I'm going to buy a kayak from you, Dan, is if it'll fit in my Subaru Outback. And I tell you what, we've stuck it in her outback. We tried it out right in the front parking lot. And since then, she's come on every single Wednesday night paddle for the past three or four years. She just slides it in her Subaru. Once she gets to the water, we help her unload it, get it to the water. And um, she is a cornerstone of our paddling club. And all because she's able to move it. If she didn't have that luxury, you know, she wouldn't be out there paddling. This kayak right here at 38 pounds is still super light. It's going to have a little bit higher capacity, so it's going to fit... A wider range of people um, 11 foot 6 means it should have a little better glide 38 inches wide and the width is back here it's behind the seat we call that sleed form so the kayak starts off very narrow and then tapers back so the width is in the behind the paddler the advantage of that is you get a nice sleek entry so it really cuts in the water 
and all the width and the stability is right at your hips, kind of right where you want it. The Santee has a rear hatch with a bulkhead, and in the front, they do add a bulkhead, but to save some money, they don't put a front hatch in. I mean, this is a lot of boat to have under a thousand bucks. So uh, you still have plenty of storage in the back, and if you're not using storage or front, at least you still have that flotation, which is gonna keep you safe if you were to capsize in open water. Both these boats are open water safe, which means if you were to flip this thing over, the water's only gonna fill up from behind your seat to up by your feet. And all this other spot's gonna be air buoyancy. So if you flipped it back over, it would be about half full of water. You could use your paddle, slide it under these bungees, use it like a paddle float, get back into the kayak and paddle to safety. Same here on the Eddy Line. Eddy Line does a little bit nicer job with heavier duty bungees on the side to support the paddle. And again, a paddle float would be a paddle underneath here and then a um, inflatable buoyancy aid on the other end of the blade. I'll demonstrate that on a future video because that's something everyone should know. If you haven't taken a rescue class, do yourself a favor, educate yourself on YouTube, get yourself a paddle float and go try it. And better yet, go take a class. There's no substitute for having somebody that's an expert walk you through this stuff. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to overdo it, but I did want to show you a couple of boats. Our two most popular boats under $1,000, under 40 pounds. And if you're in the market, if you're looking at $7.99, $8.99 kayaks, do yourself a favor and just try an any line. Try a Hurricane. Try a Thermoform kayak, and I guarantee that you'll never go back. It's almost impossible to go back once you've experienced the glide and the performance of these Thermoform kayaks. And for those of you guys that are wondering, they do come in sit on tops. Uh, they have a, a different range of sit inside with chairs, with seats, as well as you know more performance oriented one, more uh, fitted cockpits, more sea kayak touring styles. I so appreciate you guys continuing to tune in, watch these videos, educate yourself. If you have any questions that I haven't answered or that I failed to address in this video, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section and I will get back to you. As always, we want you guys to come out and see for yourself. If you're in the area or traveling through Lodi, be sure to take some time to come see us and get, let us get you on the water. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.